Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe we're making stewed fish. Now this is my mother-in-law's way of making stewed fish and it is my absolute favorite and I'm sure you all are going to love it. So let's jump straight into this recipe. Let me show you how easy it is to make. We're going to be starting off this recipe with our washed and clean pieces of fish. You could use bone-in fish if you wanted to. I'm using fish fillets that have no bone and this was given to me or I won it from the guys, seafood guys in Miami. So if you guys are watching this, thank you so much. I'm going in with my seafood seasoning or fish seasoning, salt, fresh green seasoning. And if you don't have fresh green seasoning, you can order this bottled green seasoning from Amazon. I'll link it in the description box for you. Now you're going to massage the seasonings well into the fish and you want to allow this to marinate for at least one hour minimum overnight is best. So you want to cover it and set it aside and allow it to marinate. Once it's finished marinating, we'll move on. But in the meantime, let's make the sauce for this. So I'm using tomato ketchup. You can also use tomato paste or tomato sauce if you wanted to. In goes sweet chili sauce. Oyster sauce. Now it looks a little bit runny because I added some water to the bottle. And some sesame oil. In goes ginger and garlic. You want fresh ginger and fresh garlic. I like adding some anato, also known as ruku. I'm using the powder, you can also use the liquid. I'm gonna give it a little mix and I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of water if you wanted more water to make it saucier. Of course, by all means, you can add more. I'm also going to go in with some pepper soy sauce or you can use a dark soy sauce. Add that in and give it a mix and set it aside. This is your sauce for your fish. This is the stew sauce. Um, I promise you all, if you try this recipe, you will love it. I was blown away when she made it for me. So next, we're gonna dredge our fish to fry. You'll already have your oil heating on a medium heat. You're gonna dredge it in plain flour and you're gonna fry it until it's crisp. It should take about two to three minutes if your pieces are small or thin like mine if your pieces are fish if your pieces of fish are bigger you would take a little longer time to fry it just make sure that it's properly cooked inside once it's nice and golden on one side flip it over and allow the other side to start browning When the fish is finished and has a nice golden color, remove it and set it aside on paper towels to drain or on a wire rack. Continue frying the rest of the fish until all has been fried up. Now let's put up a pot on medium heat and add in a piece of golden ray with a little drizzle of oil. If you don't like using golden ray, you can use butter. Then goes sliced onions and sliced sweet peppers along with some pimento peppers and season with a little salt. If you're watching the salt content in your diet, you could omit that salt because golden ray does have salt. We're going to saute this for about one minute and then add in the sauce that we made. Add in some chopped tomatoes and give that a mix and bring this up to a simmer. Now once it comes up to a simmer, you're going to add in your pieces of fried fish. Nestle it in and you're going to turn it to coat the pieces of fish in that delicious sauce. Now this just needs about two more minutes of cooking and then it will be ready. You want to taste and adjust your salt, garnish with some freshly chopped scallions and I like serving this with some boiled and fried provision or some simple boiled dashing, not even fried, just simple boiled dashing. The sauce is everything for this recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make it, comment down below, let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!